everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a very huge haul. I think this is the biggest haul I've ever done, other than probably birthday hauls. I have been buying these things I'm going to be showing since the end of March, so this is obviously a collective haul. Today I got little buns in my hair because I've always wanted to try this hairstyle, and then when I was getting ready, I just randomly tried it out, and I think it's kind of cute, so got that going on. I haven't posted a video in a really long time since the trip that I went on in March and my video before my trip video was the trip haul so I'm doing another haul but hauls are pretty much my most viewed videos anyways so why not do another one and they're like literally my favorite videos to watch and I love making them because I like going back and seeing what I bought and yeah I think that's all I have to say so let's get into this haul. So some things are still in the bag because when I do hauls I don't like wearing the stuff until I film it, but some things I got so long ago I couldn't wait. was meaning to make this haul a long time ago, but I just kept buying more and more and I wanted to show all of that. So anyways, let's just get into it. I'm just gonna, I literally just have a pile right here of stuff that's not in bag. I'm just gonna go for it. So first, from Abercrombie, I got my first pair of white jeans. I've literally never had white jeans. The one thing I'm a little sad about is they're, okay, you can't tell, but they're pretty see-through. It's on the, like, nude underwear, but literally just white jeans. For Abercrombie jeans, they're, like, uncomfortable in the beginning. You just gotta, you know, work them in. So I haven't actually worn them out yet, but yes, just some white jeans. Then, again, from Abercrombie, I got these super 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 high-waisted shorts I don't even know if it looks like it right now but these are literally the most high-waisted shorts I've ever worn I have um, a crop top that I'm going to be showing in this haul it's not even cropped when I wear these shorts which I don't mind because now I can buy like more cropped shirts and they won't be too crazy cropped you know so they look like this they got some rips in them I don't know if you can tell yeah you can the back is longer so it's not going to be showing too much and it also what I like about Abercrombie shorts the ones that I have it's buttons instead of a zipper which I don't know I just feel like makes it more comfortable and yes I really love these they're going to be like my go-to summer shorts so from H&M I've worn this so many times since I bought it I got just this light purple sweatshirt I love H&M's sweatshirts are literally just so comfortable and I like getting them in uh, big sizes so it's just big and baggy. It's light purple and then the sleeves are rolled up and yeah love this. I'm going to show next what my cousin got me for Easter. I think this is from Blue Notes but I'm not even sure. So first it's this pretty light pink shirt with a zipper in the front this side is like I don't know it's a different fabric and then the back is like cotton and it's really cute and comfy I've tried it on but I've never actually worn it out yet so looks like this and then to go with this I also from my cousin got these black pants they're like jeans but they're not jean material they're so comfy they're literally just like this and like this and yeah they kind of look like leggings mixed with jeans so I guess jeggings then from forever 21 I got this on the forever 21 website first I got this light purple just cropped tank top because I loved the color of it. It's pretty much like the sweatshirt color and it's just a tank top. And then I got th that same tank top in black. Looks like this. And I got this to go with these pants. So excited to wear these pants. I think they're so cool. Okay, so... They look like this, they have this really cool pattern, and they're like very baggy and loose at the ankle. Really so cool, they're like, they remind me of a festival, music festival. Then I got this light blue Adidas t-shirt and I 
love this color so much. I've worn this already. So it's just got, you know, some lines on the side. The Adidas sign at the bottom. And it just looks like this. And I think it's very, very cute. And this color, I love this color with my dark hair. I don't know why. I just do. Then, this is something I'm so excited about. So I've wanted overalls for like two years, probably since like summer 2015 I've been wanting overalls and I see them at stores for like $40 ish and then I went into Forever 21 and I saw this, looks like this and then this is the shorts part it's got some rips and it's obviously open here and yes so it's very good quality great little overall and it was $10.99 I was like no way like I actually thought it was like a mistake on the tag but it is $10.99 I legit thought this was a mistake so I was like hey, go up to the cash and then if it's like not $10.99 then I'm not gonna get it with tax it came to 12 I was like what the frame I love them I am literally gonna wear them all the time in the summer and I can't wait I just got two shirts from here and they are cropped these are the ones that are cropped but they weren't cropped when I wore them with the high-waisted shorts so first I got this yellow one and it's like the back is like that which I love when tank top backs are like that and it's um, yellow and I wanted to like start wearing different colors so I also think yellow looks good with dark hair I don't know and it's very cute and then I just got the same one in white because I've never had a white just basic tank top like this so these are really gonna be some go-to tank tops in the summer and I can wear them under my overalls so these were $3.99 each so it came to $9 for two tank tops which is very very cheap so next door is American Eagle first from American Eagle I got a new purse I wanted a new purse because I have one that I use but I feel like it's more winter slash fallish so I wanted a spring slash summer purse so it just looks like this and it's like crossbody or off the shoulder and it's black there's a hair stuck to the tag I don't remember what the sale price on this was but I got it for really cheap um, so it's just got some fringe here and then it opens up with a button I have nothing in it yet because I was waiting to show it before putting my stuff in it so, yes, I love this purse. Then moving on to the clothing I got from here. I just got two tank tops. This one I already wore and I freaking love it. It's literally the softest material ever. And this part kind of reminds me of um, Tommy Hilfiger. It just kind of looks like that. But it's um, cropped-ish. I love it. It was so comfy when I wore it a couple days ago. So yeah, it just looks like this. And then I got another tank top. Oh, and I also got both of these tank tops for $20 because they were 60% off. I got another tank top, which is tie-dyed, and it's, yeah, this is the back. And it's so cool. Like, I love tie-dye. I've never had anything tie-dyed that wasn't tie-dyed by myself. Looks like this. It has, like, two straps. Um... And yeah, it's also very, very soft, and I think it's a little bit cropped. As you can see, most of the stuff I bought was more summer-ish stuff, because I needed some more summer stuff, and I love summer. Moving on to Blue Notes. From Blue Notes, everything that I bought came to $40, because they had 40% off that day that I went. Oh my god, I actually forgot I got these, because it was so long ago. So, first... I got these shorts. Is this? Yeah. I got these shorts. They are so cute. I literally forgot I got them. These little balls on it. And it's just this really cute purple and white pattern. I love these. These are so comfy. And just with a white, the white tank top that I bought or a white short sleeve shirt, I think this would be so freaking cute. And they're stretchy and comfy. And I wanted a pair of shorts that literally were just like very, very lounge and comfy. And I found some there, and it has a little anchor right here. And they're just gray and navy. I got them in a 
large because I wanted them to be baggy and I wanted them to be long enough to be able to go out in public wearing them. They're literally just the comfiest things ever. I can't wait to just wear these on my lazy days in the summer. Then I got a pair of jean shorts because I need some more jean shorts. Well, I don't anymore, but at the time I did. So I look like this, just light denim with rip. And then last, I got this sweater. It's my first cropped sweater. And this was 60% off, so it was like originally $25. I got it for $9 or something like that. So it's this pretty royal blue color and it says no bad days. And like I said, it's cropped, it's cute. I got it in a large also because I want it to be baggy and comfy, which it is, so yeah. These will be cute in the summer just with some jean shorts. So I'm very excited to wear that. Next I got some slide slides shoes. I wanted these since about last summer. Not these exact ones, just this style of shoe. Because they're literally just the easiest things to put on and they're so comfy. So I got some Nike ones. They are gray and then they have the white check mark. I'll hold them like this. So this is what they look like. They were like $27, which I think is pretty cheap. So I'm gonna wear these a lot this summer. They're just so easy to slide on, you know? This thing I got. This is very exciting. I got some Ray-Ban prescription sunglasses. So just Ray-Ban sunglasses pretty much. So this is what they look like. They don't say Ray-Bans on them because they are prescription. But they look like this and then you open them up. Looks like this. These are my first pair of like sunglasses that aren't just from Forever 21. So they look like this. I really like them think they're my style. I like glasses that are, you know, like this. And I'm very happy with them, so, yeah. Well, it, everything is so much brighter with them off, though. They are very tinted. Moving on to something very exciting. I went to Urban Outfitters for the first time. I, I was literally in heaven there. I could spend, like, an hour just taking my time looking at everything. I love it there. It was exactly what I expected it to be. Like, I see what it's like on YouTube in people's halls and whatever, but I didn't think that it would be the same for the Canada store because the Canadian brand in Melville is so different from the one in the US, so I was expecting it to be like that too, but I saw so many things in the store that I've seen on YouTube, so I was, I was amazed. I had to get something and I was torn between what I wanted to get but I'm very happy with my decision. I got this shirt that says friends don't lie and it's Stranger Things and this quote is from Stranger Things and it's in the Stranger Things font and I'm just like oh my god I love it so much. Like I just think that's awesome and I literally cannot wait to wear this and I need to go back to Urban Outfitters and do some more shopping because honestly it's my new favorite store even though I've only been there once. And the room decor there, I was going crazy. I'm going to redo my room and I'm going to go there and get stuff from there because it's literally amazing. So next door is Hollister. Oh my god this video is already 17 minutes. That's crazy. Next door is Hollister. Both of the things I got were on sale so it came to $25 for both of these things. So first I got this navy shirt that says Santa Monica, California. I've never been there, but I want to go there. So why not get a shirt that says it? And it has just a little white stripe on the sleeves. And it's so soft. Like, it's the softness of stuff that just makes me buy it. And it's just, you know, a cute t-shirt. Then I got a flannel. And this was originally $42.95. And I got it for $12.99. Like, that is insane. Um, the only size left was a large, but I love, like I said many times already, the baggy look. So it's this. Looks like this. It's like pink and blue. It kind of looks red, but it's pink. And then the sleeves are just rolled up. So this is going to be cute. Either just actually wearing it or having it around my waist. So I got another pair of shoes and from Payless, but it's the American Eagle brand. I got these white sneakers. I've never had white shoes before. So yeah, they just tie up like this. 
and they're so white I'm trying my best to just keep them looking this white forever because like look at that oh my god then Aerie and Sephora first from Sephora I just got my favorite foundation because I ran out of it it lasts me like five to six months though which is so good for a foundation which is crazy makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation my shade is called desert and it looks like this so I'll take it out of the package to actually show it it looks like this and I can't wait to use this I haven't used it yet because I wanted to show it for the video and I haven't worn makeup since I got it because I got it two days ago like I said this haul is from the end of March until today today was the last thing that I bought for this because I needed to film it before I started buying a lot more things. Then from Aerie, actually first there's something from Garage in here. I got this really cute garage choker. I think this is so cool and I'm just excited to wear this. So yeah. Moving on to actual Aerie, I got this keychain which I found in like a 60% off section. That's why I got it. It was $10. I got it for $3.98. And it's the heart eye emoji keychain. I think this is the cutest thing. And it was so cheap, so like, why not get this? Then I got this strapless, ruffly shirt. It's so cool. Like, I'm just obsessed with all of the things that I bought. I was torn between the colors because there was literally so many different options. But I just went with white. And with my new high-waisted shorts, I bet this one even looked cropped. But, yes. I love this. And it was on sale for $15 from $35. Last thing I got, I got today from the bay. I saved $28, so this stuff was on major sale. I got first this Adidas tank top. Looks like this. It says Adidas. It's kind of hard to see. And then it just has the Adidas logo there. And it's this very, very long white tank top. And the back is so cool. I said cool a lot, but like, look at that. I'm obsessed with this. And I got a Adidas sweater. And I'm so excited for this. So it's like a maroon, purple-ish color. And it says Adidas on the sleeve. And then it has the Adidas sign there. And it's a zip up sweater. I barely have any zip up sweaters. All of mine are mostly hoodies. So that is everything I bought except there's one last thing I want to show which isn't clothing related. But I got a pop socket. There's a little story behind this. So I ordered one on Amazon on March 21st and I still haven't gotten it yet. So I was pretty sad about that because I really want a pop socket and it was taking forever to come. I contacted the person on Amazon asking where it is. They said there's it's supposed to come in another two weeks. So I was impatient and I didn't even know if it's going to come or not. So then I saw on Instagram that Hot Topic was selling Pop Sockets, which I was so shocked about because Pop Sock is its own brand. So I was shocked that a store would be selling them. But I got one and it was actually cheaper than it would be from even ordering it from the Pop Socket website. It's so fun to just pull in push in I'm gotta stop but anyways I got this galaxy one because it was the only option they had first they Instagram four different ones and I knew I wanted this one but then when I went in the store this was the only one that was left but it's galaxy I think it's really cool I just love the galaxy design so I'm very happy with this and it's just like look at this like it's just so easy to hold you know love this pop socket so that was everything i got this is going to be kind of annoying to have to put all of this stuff away but i'm excited to start using it. yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching bye